Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Batman Tell series. I am Lobo Booga. I am the Magnificent Margon. I'm Jeff. If you know me by my real name, that is. Um, I haven't played this way just. I've been doing so much Total War Warhammer. I've um, been focusing on all of that sort of stuff and everything else that. Well, there's a couple of games out, well, episodes, which is fine. Um, episode 3 came out, I think, last week or something, or earlier this week. I have no idea sometimes, I really don't. Um, we'll just hit start and get things going. Um, what was I going to say? I can't remember. There we go. That might help, bring the camera on. Good to see the flashbacks, find out what we're up to, find out where we were. I have completely forgotten. Well, not really, but have in some ways. This game series adapts your choices and makes the story... The story is tail tailored by how you play. Completely stuff that up. Red... I can't even talk tonight. It's been one of those... One of those weeks. One of those weeks. Let's just leave it at that. And let's Imagine enjoy this. Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. Oh. And despite what you did, going behind my back to Mori, I will continue to keep it. No reports. Nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. If that's true, then reinstate Gordon as commissioner. Hmm. You really are loyal to that stubborn old little boss, aren't you? I'll tell you what. Play nice with me now, and when this is all over, I'll make things right with Gordon. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be of great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. I know when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. It's the mask that fits best at the time. Tactical. Now you're speaking my language. What the oh. hell? Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons... This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Well, then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Thank you. 
we're on a boat. <laughs> we're gonna grab a land of Wow, so we've killing Riddler. Did we kill the Riddler? I didn't think we killed him, but maybe I did. There you go. Wow, what a what a start. Drama, straight off the bat. That's what I love about the Telltale games. They are fantastic. Guys who write the stories for this really really go all out and I think that's the fantastic thing about this. Alright. I really went to town with the policeman for the guard. Someone else is here, someone else is a lot stronger. You got what you came for. You don't need me. Well, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your usefulness and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. Whoa. How many are there? I don't know. Ten or twelve, maybe? The really big one, he... He made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to. I a big swear. one. It's okay. I wonder if that's gonna Get be bang here. or something like that. Now. Thank you, Batman. Could be interesting as Bane. Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just about. All right, I'll make it one more round. I'm not used to this as much. A little bit slow. Oh shit! <laughs> Who have we got? Who are you? A nightmare. Much like yourself. But you can call me Bane. Oh, you can call me a Bane. <laughs> a man cannot win a war alone. You fight well, but you fight alone. You will die alone. See why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead. Yeah, Riddler? You yeah. should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I face I find you. Bane and I'd hate strange with this kind of voice. Oh, I haven't faced a doesn't sound like since him. I left Peña Duro prison. <laughs> This one, bad. Mine. this one is mine. I love it. Oh, here we go. He shot up. Now we have bed. Look 
again. Don't this pain your friend. Juice down, no more. Sounds like a Mexican body wrestler, this Bane, instead of what we've had in the original, the um, last sort of Batman stuff from the movies. It's good seeing a different twist to him, though. This is interesting. Goodness is better than anyone. Exactly. I'd rather call Gordon than call the other person. Batman? Batman, what's wrong? Jim. Help. Hang in there. Help is on the way. I just sort of wouldn't go in the help. Just a better choice, in my opinion. My special. That was a good start. That was a very, very strong start. Very good. Um, um, I'm just typing something. Yeah, no, that was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. A really strong start. Like, boom, straight into it. Off the bat, make the new Bane. Batman. So uh, very interesting. Batman, say something if you can hear me. Gordon, Christ, Batman. Come on, help me. It won't move. Batman, we're gonna need you to help us push this thing off you. Come on! You can do it! It's moving! <laughs> Come on! That's an interesting game mechanic. The mechanic. Where is he? It's okay, Jim. I just need a minute. Well, when you're feeling up to it, I'd love to hear what the hell happened here. Who did this to you? He called himself Bane. His men loaded the weapons onto the APCs, said they were taking them to a warehouse near the docks. You need to find them. Don't worry. We'll catch the bastards. You better believe the entire force is motivated after what happened tonight. These bastards declared war on our city. Be sure to loop in Waller. She can help you. I already did. Didn't have a choice. Now that Waller's my superior, I have to loop her into everything. Yeah, give us a second, will you? Thanks for sticking your neck out and calling me with this. I need all the juice I can get now that we live in Waller's Gotham. <clears throat> we're going to have to stick together if we're going to weather her storm. You and me, we're nothing like her. We're men of principle who still believe in the letter of the law. We're all on the same side. Waller is not the enemy. The hell she's not. 
That battle axe declared war on me the moment she stripped me of my rank. Mm. Thanks again for keeping me in the loop. It means a lot. <sighs> right on time. I'll get to the Batcave. See if I can make some sense of what happened tonight. <clears throat> so, what did I miss? Oh, I was at the scene of a heist at the Gotham Brokerage House when Batman called me here. What were they after? We're still getting a full account. Once the dust settles, I'll send you everything we've got. Detective Bullock's writing up a full report. I'll have him send you a copy. Officers are ready for your deployment orders. I've got to get going. Your partner in Avesta. How is she? Still in the hospital. And doctors say the hearing damage could be permanent. Uh. Damn it, it should have been me. I failed her. I put her in danger. It's my fault. Avesta's tough. A survivor. She'll pull through. Uh, she's been through a lot. I just hope this doesn't break her. Look, I owe you one for saving my life back there. So I gotta warn you. Waller flipped when she heard you called Gordon instead of her. You really should stay on Waller's good side for as long as you can. For everyone's sake. <laughs> I'll tell Avesta you asked about her. I am on Waller's good side. She just wasn't the one I wanted to have help me. I wanted Gordon to come help. Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. Wow, that really took a painting then. Episode 2. The pack. Wow, okay. <laughs> we had an intro and then we had another intro. That's strange, but okay. Whatever. Bruce! I'm, I'm fine. Really. You are not fine, Bruce. <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. But I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. I'm so sorry to put you through that, Al. You'll just do it again tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we... We can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. He really needs a sidekick. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Tried to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war... it just continues to rise. Alfred, we will get through this. You know that, right? This storm will pass. Yes, I, I know that, Bruce, and I'm sorry for not being my resolute self. It's just this Bane is terrifying. We've never seen this kind of destructive power before. Waller was right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good, thanks. Still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. 
There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight, all at the same time. Let's bring him up, get an assessment of the damage. Gothcorp Labs, genetic research facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes, I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. At ah. least 20 dead. Some completely encased in ice. Others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they bought that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. It's pity that... Gotham brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Dr. Howie quit. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead. And even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. That's barbaric. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene, dressed up as a clown and wielding a mallet. <laughs> Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage, all by herself. Guns? Money? Biotech? What are they planning? We won't know until we get mm. to Bane. Uh, it's actually quite interesting. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them, that would be suicide in your current condition. Of course I could use help. But both the GCPD and the agency are stretched thin. One thing's for sure. We can't just wait around for Bane to strike again. The death toll is already too high. You told Waller you knew when to be Batman and when to be Bruce. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. No. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then... John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. John's hardly predictable, but it's a risk I'll have to take. He clearly sees something in you that appeals to him. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. He'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. Bruce Wayne has influence, an endless bank account, and as of last year, questionable integrity. Everything a criminal network looks for. Yeah. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Good thing you hit that tracking device on him when you had the chance. The stack deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. No. We're off. Batman? Well, I'm playing Batman. Yeah, be quiet. Yep, be quiet. Then watch it though. Batman! I'll tell you about Batman. He's no hero. The way I see it, he's just a bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. 
Guys like Bruce Wayne. <laughs> I see. I see. Willie, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. It, okay. It feels... No, Willie, he's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge, colossal, gigantic, spoiled piece of... Sh oh, uh, <laughs> I am... Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm going to ignore what I heard. No harm done. <laughs> you set me up. Nonsense. Bruce. Uh, uh, don't mind Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Lady the Bane. Interesting. I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I Joker need. Joker run therapy. A tracker, Bruce? Really? I gotta say, I'm disappointed. I thought we built more trust between us. I'm sorry, John. All I could think of was getting to Riddler. You were my best chance. I... I should have just... Waited for me to get back to you? Like I said I would? Hey, I said I was sorry. It's rude, duplicitous, and kind of stalkery. But I understand. All is forgiven. Anything to do with the Riddler's death? I mean, I hated the guy, but geez, Bruce, you really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? I don't know, John. The way you were talking about him at the funeral and the way you're laughing now it makes me wonder. Riddler was a terrible person, Bruce. I don't think it's wrong to want him dead. Doesn't mean I pulled the trigger, though. Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. Mm -hmm. I would be out of the picture by the time you came around. Come I should have told you. I, just, yeah. I didn't want yeah. you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us. Ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. Pinky swear. Pinky swear. Friends for life. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce. Friends don't plant tracking gadgets on each other. Mm, okay. You've got my number. All right, let's go meet the guys. Let's go I'll meet let the guys. We're on our way. Let's go pink fire. I'm out of medicine. <clears throat> I don't like your face. <clears throat> I think your body. 
father and my friend John. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea. We're just having a friendly chat. Are you calling me a liar? You shouldn't have walked in here. <laughs> that was your first mistake. And it's gonna be your last mistake. Kiss your ass goodbye! Perfect. Oh. <laughs> oh, lovely violence. What the hell are you doing to my boss? Willie had a problem, and we took care of it. Is he dead? I said we took care of it. All right, freak show. I'm calling them. Come on. <laughs> Better get out of here. Someone tells me I was going to come back and bite me the fact that he filmed it on his camera phone. Perfect. That was fantastic! <laughs> Bugger. Oh, cool! They're expecting you. They're expecting you. <laughs> uh, Br Bruce, um... Wow. <laughs> one, one more thing. You can't tell anyone. This is big. Huge. I think I'm in love. Uh, it's, it's an odd feeling. And, uh, are you in love with, with me? <laughs> no. But I hope uh, we can still be friends. Sure. So mysterious. You at least gotta tell me your name. She'll, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her, I'd appreciate it. Then Come she on. is. We shouldn't keep her waiting. So Harley Quinn's in charge. We hotwire a car. Almost got it. Oh, damn it. Thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. Come on, come on, come on. At least it worked before. I could just buy you a car, you know, something with an actual key. Uh, this works. It's just a matter of trial and error. Just one sec. There we go. <laughs> Don't turn around. All right, Wayne. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. Well, if you know who I am, then you probably know I'm more useful alive. That makes sense. Sense is so boring, though. What about money, power, and influence? They bore you, too. No. Those are fun. Those are fun. I'm just joshing your rich boy. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. That's a bullet. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> God. Well, let's put some music on. Now, Bruce, this is the lady I was telling you about. Harley Quinn. Isn't she a hoot? I knew you guys would hit it off. Well, trust me, I'm laughing my ass off. On the inside. Oh, come on, Bruce. Harley was just kidding. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You probably don't like things that go bang too much. After that sad, sad way you lost your phone. What in here says you're it's chomping fun. at the bit? Hey, to meet shh, watching Batman. I want to get an idea why. What do you get out of rubbing shoulders with the likes of us? Well, when you have as much money as I do, you get bored. I'm just looking for a little excitement. Excitement, huh? 
Mr. Silver Spoon needs some new toys. Oh, you, you should have seen the way he took care of business with the guy in the bar, though, Harley. He's a force to be reckoned with. Do us a favor, Pud. Skip over to that bodega and get me a slushy. Right now? <laughs> you need a buck? <laughs> I got it. Porter. Poor John. He just doesn't know who he is yet. You know, he's searching. Highly impressionable. He thinks the world of you. So I asks myself, what's Bruce Wayne want with a lost soul like John? It's kind of a mismatch. It raises all it? kinds of questions. After all, John is in the other room. Go see your mommy. Master, huh? mommy? Poor old Puds, your marionette. <laughs> Maybe you and me are more alike than I thought. You got that look in your eye, the kind that says you're trouble. And I only like trouble when I'm the one causing it. You got a good reason why I should trust you? Cause I sure as hell can't see one. After all, you're a squeaky clean favored son of Gotham. How am I supposed to believe you won't run to the cops the first chance you get? John vouched for me, didn't he? That's gotta count for something. <laughs> John's easily impressed. Just so you know, Mr. Moneybags, I ain't. You're gonna have to earn my respect. And it's going to take a lot more than that billion dollar smile. Oh, gee, thanks, Wood. We got to go. You have to go ask mommy. What were you guys talking about? Your friend was just saying how he used you, Wood. Just to get to me. Ain't that right, Brucey? Ain't that the gist of it? It's the truth. I get it, Bruce. You used me. Because that's the kind of ruthless guy you are. Was it Carl? Yep. Oh my god! That is the best damn slushy ever. Want some? No thanks. Suck on that. I swear, it'll make your whole body shiver. Come <laughs> on, put your lips on it. No thanks, I'm good. Suit yourself. I'm a pretend I ain't offended. I'll try some. Mm. Okay, here's what's going to happen now, Mr. Moneybags. Moneybags. You're gonna go get Mama a little present. From inside there. From inside where? Oh, Wait shit. Your a little bird told me there's some pretty fancy hacking tech up there. Something called a phalanx key. Get it for me. I know you're on the level. Maybe I'll even bring you along on our next job. You'll get all the thrills you ever dreamed of. What do you want with the phalanx key? Why wouldn't I want it? I hear this thing opens half the security systems in Gotham. And it's just sitting there, hidden in your lab, waiting for someone to put it to use. <laughs> What's the matter? You better not try nothing fishy. I don't want to have to splatter that pretty face. It's okay, face. Harley. Bruce and I already talked. He'll do whatever you want. Is that right? Will you do whatever I want? Will you jump when I say jump? Will you bring me the shiny things I asked for? Well, this is a complex task. There might be some bumps along the way. Nothing is guaranteed. Some things are. 
Like how fast I'll make you disappear if any of those bumps turn into trouble. You're on, Brucey boy. Make yourself useful and get me that phalanx key. And hurry. Mama really wants to get herself some tacos when you're done. Got this, Bruce. <sighs> what have I got myself into? I thought I was on the bombing when we when Lucius died. Wayne Tower. Uh, Mr. Wayne. Security camera. Uh, yeah, if you could please sign in well, on account of the attack. So, um, what brings you in? If you don't mind me asking. I believe that's my name on the building, which means I don't have to explain myself to you. Oh, well, of course not, Mr. Wayne. I, I didn't. You're checked in, sir. Checked in, that's right. I don't think that was the right answer. It was a bit harsh. I just sort of snapped it. It was sort of something that was in my brain and just went boom. Really ought to rethink your hiring practices, Bruce. Your man's lying down on the job. What did you do to him? It, is he still alive? Don't worry. A little bop on the head never killed anyone. From you, it's a hell of a bop. Going up, Brucey! This ain't your stop. Don't worry about your pal. He's gonna make it. As long as you behave, that is. Give me a hard time, I go back and finish the job. The same goes for anyone else who gets in. Mm. Capiche? Okay, okay, we'll do it your way. No, Just don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> 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 he thinks he's in charge. How cute. You're <laughs> cute. Keep it cool and no one else gets a dinner to the dome. Now buck up. We're all smiles on this crew. There you go. You're looking like your billion dollar self again. <laughs> oh, Bruce, I'm surprised to see you. And these are... <clears throat> to whom do I owe the pleasure? Uh, prospective clients. At this hour? It, well, they have to catch an early flight. I want to buy Wayne Enterprises. Bruce says he'll give me a generous deal. Oh. Well, no one ran this by me. That's because he's giving me your job. You two idiots. Is this some kind of joke? Funny to you? Robert, please be quiet. Robert? Like I'm some kind of punchline or something? Excuse me? Uh, 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 they're gonna have to stop this. You're gonna let your employees sass me like that? Is this the kind of operation you run here? Leave her alone. <laughs> I ain't even gotten started. I said back off. <laughs> Your friends don't suit you, Bruce. Mm -hmm. You got a firm grip, Mr. Corporation. The kind that makes a girl go weak at the knees. I'll show you what else you can do with those hands. We could carve out some alone time. 
I want to stay focused on the task at hand, shall we? This is right. We are the people with purpose. Robert. Here to get the baby. You're not going to be quiet. Go see mummy. Go see mummy. You gotta learn to live in the moments. I'm guessing I probably missed out another opportunity. Missed out on Catwoman. Hey, what the? I missed out on probably kissing Carly Quinn just then. Wait here, I'll be right back with Forget you. Forget it, Brucey boy. His secret lab ain't really a secret. Cobblepot's got quite a mouth on him. I don't think he ever shut it the whole time I was working at Blackgate Prison. He told me all sorts of interesting stuff. Say, do you like chess? Work your magic. Tick tock, what's the hold up? I don't have any choice, do I? Go see mummy. I'll be the other bed, I think. Tight squeeze. You know, I think you two are the closest friends I've ever had. Where's the pocket? Yeah, off you go. Uh, Batman? It's the Batman, yes. Yeah, it's really quiet. Streaming I stuff. present to you our secret lab. Lucius, you have seriously outdone yourself you this time. Go. Go to bed. Where do you like it? Go to bed. Like it. Huh? Oh, this. Uh, this changes everything. It was getting a bit dodgy hiding all those batarangs in the Wayne Enterprise R&D way. Thank you, Lucius. Come on. Now the real work starts. Go see your mother. See your mommy. What's that? A cake? Hmm. Somehow I was expecting more. Where's the giant crater? I thought this was where your friend went out with a bang. That was his office upstairs. Whoa. Better question. Where's the phalanx key? It should be in the vault. Well, what you waiting for, sweetie? Go get it. Okay. Okay. Nothing else we're doing now. Okay. Lock protocol vault thumbprint required Lucius Fox. That's not right. Why the lockout? Someone's been in here. What's taking so long, Bruce? It's saying it won't open without Lucius's thumbprint. And that got blown up with the rest of him, didn't it? Oh, all the dumb luck. Oh, You're saying we can't get it open, then? Oh, no, he's not going to like that at all. Or you. L let me try to find latent prints around here with my scanner. Always thinking, this guy. Hmm. Dinner to celebrate Tiffany's first day at Wayne Enterprises. I'm sorry you didn't make it there, Lucius. Alright, that's a start. That's a start. Getting there.
One more partial print should do it. I'm not even sure if it works. It's an EMP generator, Puddin. <laughs> Tell them what it does. It emits a pulse that knocks out Got other it? nearby electronic Got it. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to try that? Someone is not rat that shit crazy, I guess. what I want when I want Brucey boy you knew what's best for you you'd quit giving orders and find me that key <sighs> someone's in here yes looking for this Tiffany I told you I'd find out what you got my dad mixed up in this this is much worse than I thought you're not safe here. You have to hide. What the hell are you doing with a secret room full of weapons? What's going on here, Bruce? What's all this for? Your father worked with Batman. That's who all this stuff is for. Batman. I knew it! His tech! Dad's fingerprints are all over it. I came looking for answers, but... <sighs> I didn't expect this. Bruce. These people you're with. I saw on the cameras what they did to that guard. To Gina. They'll do the same to you or worse. Get out of sight. Bruce! What's taking so long in here, huh? Hey, I know you. We met at your father's funeral. John. Okay, Bruce. You need to get physical. I get it. We'll be as quiet as lab rats. But, but what about Harley? I mean, she's gonna want to know about your uh, friend. That way. What am I supposed to tell her? You don't have to say anything to her, John. Okay? It can be our secret. In Arkham, I was well known for my discretion. All the guards confided in me. I don't like lying to Harley. But I'll do it for you, Bruce. What I really need is a mailing key. You give me that, I can go out there and, you know, make Harley happy. You can have the key. Just leave Tiffany out of it, okay? You mean this thing? That's it? <laughs> You've got to be kidding, Bruce. You can't give these psychos anything from this life. I get a choice. Hey, now. No need to get personal. We're all on the same side. I don't like it any more than you do, Tiffany. But this is the only way to walk away safely. Trust me, it's the right thing to do. It's a little too late for that. Oh, well. Ah! Ah! Oh. Tiffany! <laughs> well, how about that? Like Brucey boy's got more than just technology in his vault. Keeps his little squeezes down here, too. Just let her go, Harley. I don't think I will. 
not without knowing who this vicious little sweetie pie is. No. I kind of like her, but I don't know whether to smooch her or smash her head in. She's a new hire at Wayne Enterprises, okay? A, a lab assistant. Trust me, she's not a threat. That's a real shame, Brucey. You're gonna have to pay a fortune in workers' comp. <coughs> you people killed my dad, didn't you? He crashed my father's funeral. And now you're here raiding his lab! I whacked a bunch of people in my time, Sugar. But I don't think you're old enough to try it with it. Then again, I sometimes lose track of the name. I can't believe you associate with these... with these maniacs! These killers! Oh, sweetheart. Mr. Suit and Tie ain't just an associate. He's a bad, bad man. He wants to be one of us. <laughs> ain't that right, Brucey? Came to us because you got bored of being a billionaire. Now you want to be part of the family, don't you? I'm nothing like you, Harley. I'm not a murderer. That's not what I wanted to hear. Not that. Let her go. It wasn't about her. It was about seeing where he stands. They go easy on him, Harley. Bruce is loyal. He got us the key. He found it in the vault. Right on the counter. Hmm. Is that a fact? Maybe we don't need to kill ya. At least not yet. Hmm. It don't look like nothing special. You've got what you wanted. Now let's just get out of here. Blow that thing up too, John. I need it. Hurry it up. <laughs> Looks a lot bigger than what it did on the table. <sighs> Bruce, are you all right? I was keeping an eye on you over the security feed. Well, breaking into my own company was unexpected. My heart stopped when I saw that mad woman coming to Tiffany. I was certain she was going to kill her. That young woman is smarter than both of us, Bruce. Mm. It's only a matter of time before she puts the rest of the pieces together. I heard you reveal that Lucius worked with Batman. But will that satisfy Wait, no, her? don't go under there. You know what oh, she's like. Out. She won't stop digging until she gets to the truth. Maybe we should just... tell her. I've always regretted not being more honest with you about your father's life. Don't make the same mistake I did. Tiffany's safety is more important than the truth. Just be careful you don't drive her away. <sighs> With regards to tonight's other catastrophes, your night watchman got a nasty lump on the head, but don't worry, he'll be fine. I've already arranged for him to get a generous payout and an extended vacation, and replace tonight's offending security camera feed with dummy footage. Y yeah, thank you. As for Regina, I'm afraid your business client's cover story is going to cause problems. Your encounter there was too bizarre to be ignored. After what went on, it'll be a challenge to smooth things over with her. It's all coming so fast. One thing after another. You're always so good at this, Alfred. You'll figure out the right thing. Yes, I suppose I will. Bruce. I know we agreed there was no better way to get to Bane. And believe me, I want to see these monsters pay for what they've done. But this whole masquerade with John and Harley, well, frankly, it's exhausting. Hmm. Ah, oh, here we go. Bat symbols up. Well, be careful and good luck. <laughs> Thanks, Alfred. There we go. Do you 
WCPD. What is Gordon Lee? Alright. I'm just going to pause there for two seconds. I'm just going to organize something. A few things. And we'll be back in probably just a few short minutes. Just relax. Alright, sorry about that. I was just trying to get a few things organised. Something just dropped. Something just dropped. It's been a busy night. Good to see you on your feet again. Here, you're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from Sealed Records we dug up at the coroner's office. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. Yeah, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save him. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's gotta be rough on a person, going through all that. People are traumatized every day, Jim. Most find a way of dealing with it without having to bash people with a hammer. <laughs> I guess you're right. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. You're both behaving like children. Watch your tone, Batman. Or what? You'll put him on timeout? I've been lenient with you <laughs> so far, but don't push me. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I I'll do whatever I can to help you. Jim, listen to me. I need you to let me handle this. I wish... I wish I believed you could. I don't want to hear it. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying, this city gets under your skin. Fast. Know what I mean? This laid plans and all that. Even so, it's good that you and your people are here. Thanks. I guess you locals see it differently. Agent Avesta. She fought to get on this assignment, you know? Wanted to see her old neighborhood. Wanted to see you. Her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. She certainly succeeded on that front. She's one of my best. Still, wanting to impress you, it's the same thing that made her move too fast on Riddler. Now there's a lesson learned. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me follow. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. The stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. What you saw was just a test. An operation like theirs requires someone with your resources. 
As long as you don't blow it, they're gonna want to keep Bruce Wayne around until they take him for all they can. Mm -hmm. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. If we do this, I want to guarantee that no one gets killed. No one dies. No one has to join murder gangs run by maniacs either. Look, I know your code against killing, but I won't risk my agent's safety for a band of sociopaths. Batman, if it gets bad for you, just remember, we're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped. And you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. I created Batman to strike fear into criminals, not become one. Batman's not the one rubbing shoulders with him at the moment. You should think about which one Gotham really needs right now. Mm. Al, I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. So, I'll be in the final stages. I reckon we are. Alright. Here we go. I was expecting to be able to do something then and fight back. All five points. Hey now! Welcome to our little hideaway and home away from home. The end of the line. Welcome, Bruce. We're happy to have you. Thanks, John. You said you'd kill him after you got what you needed. So what? Ain't a girl allowed to change her mind? Could someone get me out of these handcuffs, please? I don't think so. <laughs> Tell me why I shouldn't kill you. <sighs> What I have is influence, and that is worth a lot. <laughs> Spoken like a man who has never had to do hard work. <laughs> who the hell wants to do hard work? I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this, thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and a failing scape. I'll betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. Ah! Whoopsie. What the hell? John, <laughs> turn it off! Turn it off! Now! Can you do something about this? It's freeze. Freeze is coming. What have you done? What have you done? You need to uncover me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice. I swear. If you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell. Okay, so we need a combination of these, right? Uh, 
Oh, I see. Alright, um, whoops. Um. Same with that to do now. I was just not paying attention. And I need to move quickly because everything's going dark. Oh, that'll keep Freeze happy. Well, at least we know that it works. I must check on Nora. See how she is. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair enough. Everyone back to work. Still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. So we just saw Mr. Freeze for the first time. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. I went up to my office. Oh God, this could be nasty. This could actually, we could crack John here, making the Joker, if we do the wrong but right thing. Listen, Bruce. I just wanna clear the air a little. You distanced yourself from us back at your office. I don't blame you after all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. <laughs> Well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. Thank you, Parlor. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, if you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. I'll to try honest, not to. I haven't had it so long, I don't even notice I'm doing it. I'll be honest, Harley, I wasn't sure what to make of you. I'm impressed. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. But don't push your luck. You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg. Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet. And believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You, though, you got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I'm in. Just tell me what to do. That's what I wanted to hear. All will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat thing, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them. Pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along, well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Fleas. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead. Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, it explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. 
But seriously, who does Oh that? no, I want to hit the home. Uh. I know, right? That was my reaction the first time I heard. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show me got those, and he'll come around. Great. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done. <sighs> Someone tells me I have to beat him up. Listen, I know about your father about how you tried to help him. He was a lost cause that made himself a shotgun lunch. What's that got to do with the price of tea in China? Are you trying to get in my head, Brucey? Always. No, I, I just simply thought you might want someone to listen. <laughs> That's real goddamn presumptuous. I wanted to talk about my pa. I wouldn't have had those records hidden. Which brings me to thinking, how the hell would you know a thing like that? You snooping around my private life? You got some inside track I don't know about. It wasn't exactly a secret in Arkham, Harley. People talk, especially when they're out of their minds on meds. That's right. Your stint in the loony bin. Still friends? Yeah. Still friends. To be honest, I'm impressed you found that out. Just don't bring it up again. Okay. We're not gonna kiss and make up. Fine. I thought we'd kiss and make up. Just not today. Not today. So. What is Freeze working on? Spirit of Unity? Not really what I'm sensing from this group. It always looks so clumsy, the animation movement, when you're walking around. It doesn't, just, it doesn't look natural as such. He just looks like he's like I'm a stiff boy. <laughs> it's just, it's just not natural. What are they planning to do? I don't have time to sort through all this. Not with them watching me. Hey, yeah, freeze. I heard about your wife, and I... Kill me out. I might be able to help. What do you mean? You'll answer me if you're smart, and understand the concept of self-preservation. What you're doing? Well, that kind of love is rare. My wife followed your goings-on in the society columns, Wayne. You are more familiar with lust than love. That's how I know how precious that kind of love is. What if you get caught? Sent to prison. What happens to your wife then? What do you propose? I own technology companies, Victor. Big ones. You could house and protect her. Continue your research to cure her. Why? Why would you do this? Your wife deserves it, right? The innocent deserve our protection. You're right about that much. I'll talk to Bane. Make sure he thinks you're on the level. You have my word. I may have misjudged you. Any tips on handling Bane? I don't know. Go talk to him. I did do good, good talk to him. Good luck. Wow. 
What would Harley need with an EMP? I can't risk tampering with it. Good luck. Win. John sure rolled out the welcome wagon. At least he's glad to have me here. Let's go into John's house. Let's go see John. Let's go see the Joker. I suppose they call him John. What was his name? Hey, buddy! It's always so good to see you. Look at the wheelchair. It's so good. Always good to see you, John. I've been wanting to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before and your office and making me look good. I actually thought you'd be mad about what happened before at Wayne Enterprises. You know, Harley really seemed to be. Not at all. Harley and I talked and talked about how lame you are. <laughs> it was by far the longest we've ever talked without her losing interest. It was great. I should have known right when we pinky sweared that everything would work out great. Mm -hmm. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing... You know, what I can to uh, help, too. You didn't catch it? Uh, like I really need to stop playing these sort of I games at this time of the night. You know, as a distraction. Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Freeze. That's the only thing I think he really respects. That was, that was intentional? <laughs> John, how did you manage to do that? No Bane was going to kill you? Seemed like a safe bet. You know, Lucius would have put safeguards on the EMP to keep you from doing exactly what you did. Then I guess we both got really lucky. And wouldn't you know it, you nailed it. You already know I like you, Bruce. You better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. Huh. chance Prisca. Now Bane loves that beer I bought some for when I need to talk to him he's scarier than anybody in Arkham uh, well that was good going in there that's given us something to present to Bane which is probably a good thing to have. Back to stiff board walking. Ah, the bane juice. Wonder if we can do anything with it anyway. Just thought you looked thirsty. Riddler, he 
bombed your building and killed your friend. Someone did that to me. I bombed their building, killed their friend. As Riddler's friend, I have to know, are you here for payback? Did you come for revenge? Answer me, or I will break you in half. Riddler is dead. Any revenge I want, I already got. It did not deserve such an end. But you have a point. In this line of work, one cannot be too careful. Trust has been the hardest thing to find. Especially after Riddler's death. Oh. Yeah. Men you can trust. So hard to find. He was with my crew at the police arsenal. Hey! The prisoner he was supposed to be guarding got away. And yet he doesn't have a scratch on him. This is crazy! I suspect we have a traitor among us. One begins to smell a rat after Riddler's murder and that prisoner getting away. Loyalty is all that we have. There can be no trust unless I can believe that you are who you say you are and that you are really willing to do all that you claim. Oh. Uh. Only one of you walks out of here. You know me. The sooner one of you picks up that pipe and bashes the other's head, the sooner we get this over. Fine. I'll prove it. <laughs> money bags you're not in the past not yet not till everyone votes not till what do you say boys Bruce Wayne Ian or out Just the aristocrat likes the backbone to dirty his hands out there may be more to Wayne than first appeared he can be trusted you know Bruce is strong and smart Handsome, like super handsome. It's nuts, you guys. Where was I going with this? Right, right. I vote in. Good. Well, aren't you, Mr. Popular? We got a majority, folks. Bruce is in. You Bain can take it to ride, pal. Make sure that EMP shield in is on those APCs. I don't need any surprises. Time to get that package. Time to get that Remember, package. When we work together, no one can stop us. When we work together, the world can yeah. be ours. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Somebody Let's go. grab that thing. It's important. Somebody grab Let's that go. thing. Let's go. Get him with the hide. So we got Freeze. We didn't get Bane, but we got Joker, which is normal. Joker likes us for some twisted strange reason and Harley Quinn will somehow she's the leader. Which is odd and interesting at the same time. Wayne, we are close. Make your device ready. We'll do. EMP primed and ready to go. Harley. Yeah, what? We have almost reached the target vehicle. Uh huh. Now, you are providing our escape. Waller. On the move with targets. Track the signal. Get your people here. Now. We've got your signal locked. Cavalry is on the way. <laughs> now we do this. Don't worry, Labs. Cavalry is here. Got Tracer coming in. Wait, what in the... I gotta say, Bruce, 
now that we're actually here and it's really happening, I'm feeling some butterflies in my stomach. We have an obstruction ahead, both lanes, armored vehicles, service weapons at the ready. Do not engage. Now, Ray, do it! I don't have much of a choice, so I'm gonna do it anyway. HQ, do you copy? Oh my god, it's crying! All comms are down. Move! Carry the torch, Mr. Suit. Stay sharp! Secure the vehicle! to die here. Your place is on the perimeter. Keep... Yeah, yeah. Grace, open the door. Everyone, stay sharp and keep order. Allow no sudden moves and no thought. Strike it. Go on, quickly. You're wondering what's in there. Find out for yourself. Back off, or I'll shoot. No, no, no! Don't. Break it off! We don't have time for this. We are not done here, Wayne. We're done here, we. I would not turn my back on you. I'll leave this clean up to you, but hurry. Men, seize the cargo. Get out of here! Waller, where are you? Waller here. Let them have it, Wayne. What are you talking about? The package. Let them have it. It's not worth my agent's lives. Oh, you want them in the open? You can't be serious. You were supposed to be here. death. See now we've just cracked the Joker. That would have cracked him. 
he's probably not going to like me very much because I helped out Bane instead of helping Harlequin, but I wanted to push him. I needed to push him over the edge. I need to get him to crack so he becomes him what he's meant to be. Better than that yammering harpy. How could we leave her? We need to get Harley. Now! Impossible. She's dead. Or in jail. So we break her out! And if she's dead? You better hope she's not. We have to help her. She'll be expecting us. She needs us. We'll get her back, John. I promise. Great. Let's go. We have to now. Right now. We don't have time to waste on her. What? What? That's enough. Save your breath. We have the cargo. Let's get this over. So what is in the box? You'll regret this, Bane! Forget him. We have a job to do. What is in this box? This key is yours, no? Open the box. Be quick. I wonder what's in this box. I'm not my choice. We're gonna open it. I wonder what's in here. Why is this so important? Riddler's corpse? Why is it that... What? It is sad to see a legend so. But there is no other way. At least now, we finally have everything we need. Riddler will open the path to us once the thief brings the last piece. I'll open any time. For the right price. So, Selena's back. She's back. She is back. You and 20% of the players left Tiffany feeling freaked out. She was surprised when you told her Lucius worked at Batman. She was outraged you suggested you couldn't take care of herself. Uh, you helped escape but she doesn't trust your motives okay to click the next button you and zero percent of the players have Gordon feeling ah. you and zero percent so does that mean I'm the only one okay he was glad you called him for help he was hurt he was doubtful okay you win 35%, so, okay, that's interesting, the stress. He didn't approve, proud, and burnt out. Okay. I find this interesting, like, 0% of players left Gordon feeling, wow, like, 0% is, that's, like, that is a really low amount. Uh, you and 40% of the players left John feeling sad. Oh, he was heartbroken, overjoyed, and he was excited. And I broke his heart. Wow. So we made her frustrated, she was disappointed, but she was also positive about it. Interesting. Harley Quinn. Ah, uh, yeah, well, she's always angry. Aggravated, impressed, slighted. That, that sounds exactly well, because you fought with Bane instead of her. You know what? She kept threatening me every five seconds. Uh, did you get Tiffany handed over to the... Uh, your forty five percent didn't convince her to do it. There you go. Uh, did you call Gordon? Uh, everyone seems to call Gordon. Uh, did you pay Willie off or will it get resolved with violence? You and twenty one percent of the players took Willie down with violence. Fifteen percent of players peacefully Oh Drew when he took a knife. So, um, so the big margin here was that one. So there's a, I'm in the, some of the, well, not the lowest, but some of the lowest. Um, who did you follow in the convoy? You and 53% of the players attempted, what does it say? 
to minimize casualties in the convoy. Raid by following Bane. Okay, yeah. So we tried to do what we need to do. Uh, you were 95 percent exempted. <laughs> okay. So a lot of people like the idea of doing a pinky swear. Interesting. Uh, so that was really good. That was fantastic. I um, I I enjoyed that. Really, really did enjoy that. I think that was fantastic. Um, that was really good. It was pretty short. Okay, oh, nearly two hours of playing. Uh, whoops. I don't want to do this. I pushed the wrong button then. My bad. Uh, just go continue. I'm not going to share my choices on Facebook. I don't need to do that. Alright, let's listen to the blurb for next episode. Oh, there's no blurb. I thought there'd be a blurb. Well, there you go. Normally they, they do like a next time or something. Well, they did the next time in the first Telltale game. So that was really, really, really good. Um, I'm Over the Moon. That was a fantastic game or episode. There's still a lot of building and still a lot of questions to be asked. Um, in it. Now we know Selena Catwoman has turned up, which was always a potential. Uh, we've met Mr. Freeze. Um, we've met quite a few other things. Why is my thing going off? That's sending me a reminder. Shut up, please. I don't. Yeah, okay. Um, dismiss. It's just telling me that something's starting. So we've had the Riddler die. We've had Harlequin Bane and Mr. Freeze. We've had the Joker. We're sort of coming in. And then we've got Selena back. She's the thief we need. And she knows who we are. Which is good. It's good seeing her back again. Uh, a fraction mass. The next episode, episode three. So we'll, I'll pick this up probably. I would say tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. And we'll complete episode three. So if you, I'm going to upload this on YouTube, it's today is the 23rd of November on 2017. Um, so I will upload this tonight and have it up and running. So if you do watch this, it will come out tomorrow morning. Hopefully, I'm going to schedule it, and then I will put it on Facebook as soon as I get home. So those who watch me on Facebook, yes, understand. And stuff like that. So yes, yeah, so there you go. Fantastic. Another really good game. Another really good adapt game by Telltale. Um, I think it's fantastic. I do want to have a look at something, though. Um, credits. I just want to have a look at something very, very quickly. Um, because I got a feeling. I just, I just want to really check, like the voice actors. Um, in this, because there's no way of pausing, which is the probably the worst thing. Um, so I'm gonna quickly look through. But yeah, so no, I really did enjoy the game. It's great. It's fantastic. It's a good game. Um, I think it's going exactly where it needs to go. It's it's just the tales this thing gives is really fantastic. Uh, what was I saying? I was saying that yes, this will all be coming out on my YouTube page. Uh, if you wish to donate towards myself, cast. Here we go. So Matthew Mercer is Mr. DeFreeze. There we go. And he's a few other people. I just wanted to check that too, because Matthew Mercer is someone I'm listening to at the moment on Critical Role. I'm going back through the whole of Critical Role. If you like Dungeons & Dragons, I recommend listening to his campaign, which is Critical Role, on the Geek & Sundry page. Um, I've been listening to it for the last three weeks, and I'm already up to episode 20 or something at the moment. I'm doing very well on it. Um, but that's because I have enough time to be able to do it. So we don't need to look through that anymore. Um, so yeah, so I recommend the game. If you haven't got Telltale, any of the Telltale games, I recommend it. I think they're all fantastic. I've played um, Batman the one, number one. I've played this one now. I'm working through Guardians of Galaxies. I've got to play, there's a couple of episodes out on that too that I'll do. Um, I've got the Game of Thrones one in my Steam store. I've got a few of them actually around, so yes, it'd be fantastic. So, look, as I was saying, donations go towards um, 
improving the stream. I've got a few things I've purchased, so anything you can donate will be very helpful. I am working towards getting affiliated as well as doing other things and making this a lot better um, than what it already is and what it will become. And there is a few things coming up in the new year for this channel as well, as well as maybe a few other surprises. We'll see how we go. That's all that guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Batman's The Telltale Series. I am Lola Booga, Magnificent Margon, and Jeff. And I will see you all next time on Batman The Telltale Series. Episode 3, The Fraction Mask. Good night, and enjoy your games.